What is up guys, I hope everyone is doing well. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the 2020 Huawei MateBook X Pro. So first of all, a big massive thank you to Huawei for sponsoring this video. And if you have been around this channel for some time, you will know that the MateBook X Pro is my daily driver and the laptop that I use for when I am on the go. So as soon as I heard that they were getting a refresh, I just had to get one in house. So with that said, let's dive in and take a first look. So let's start with a quick unboxing and see what's included. First thing out of the box of course is the MateBook, so I will put that to one side. Other items include a USB adapter that gives you some extra ports that include a USB Type A, a USB Type C, VGA and a full size HDMI. It's definitely awesome that this is included in the box, as you know fine well other companies would charge you a premium just for this adapter. So other items include your quick start guide, a USB-C to USB-C cable and of course your 65 watt supercharger. So as you can tell from the outside, not a lot has changed on the MateBook X Pro and honestly I am not mad at this at all as look wise it is pretty spot on and the biggest changes comes in form of Intel's 10th gen processors but we do have a new emerald green colour which I just need to have and some updates to Huawei Share to give it some extra functionality so I will definitely cover that. So pricing wise the X Pro starts at just under £1400 and goes all the way up to £1700 for the model that I have here that features the i7-10510U, the Nvidia MX250 GPU, 16GB of RAM and 1TB of SSD storage. So it is pretty impressive that all of this is crammed into an aluminium unibody that is just 14.6mm thick and weighs one3 kilograms. Personally, I'm a big fan of the design. It looks and feels super premium with those diamond cut edges and if you need something to travel with then throwing this in your bag won't be an issue. Being so thin it is nice to see a full size USB-A port and on the other side we have two USB-C ports and yes one of them does support Thunderbolt 3 so that is a massive bonus. And we also have a headphone jack. Taking a look at the deck you will find no flex here at all and the backlit keyboard is well spaced out and the typing experience is nice even although there isn't a lot of travel in the keys. We also have this large precision touchpad that works as expected and has nice clicks to it but you guys know me, I'm always going down the mouse route so it is the first thing that I will do, I will always plug a mouse in but the touchpad does also support full gestures so that's also another great feature. Last up on the deck we also have this power button that doubles as a fingerprint reader allowing you to log in with Windows Hello which is super fast and obviously secure, I definitely love this. So you probably noticed those drilled speaker grills at each side of the keyboard and I must say the sound quality is pretty impressive, it gets pretty loud and I'm definitely a massive fan of these speakers and they do also support Dolby Atmos. Have a little listen. So the last thing we need to discuss on this keyboard is of course the webcam. It's hidden in the function row and just clicks out like so. For privacy, this is definitely a good idea. No one can argue that, but the position is just not my favourite as it looks up your nose and onto your chin. So if you are someone who does video calls regular, this may be a little turn off for you. Personally, I wouldn't mind the bezels on the screen being a little thicker and it returning there. Let me know your thoughts on that down below. Now moving on to the best part, well at least in my opinion and that is of course the 13.9 inch display that practically has no bezels. As this has a 3x2 aspect ratio, it is a little taller than your normal laptop screens but if you use programs like Photoshop, Lightroom or do spreadsheets etc then I'm pretty sure you will come to appreciate this and it does get super bright at 450 nits. Another bonus is obviously its touchscreen so that comes in handy at times. Consuming content on this is great and with that 3000 by 2000 resolution it is super sharp and honestly in my opinion is one of the best features of this laptop other than the fact that you can also do some light gaming on it. Yes I did say we can play games on this and that is thanks to Nvidia's MX250 on board. While you will not be able to crank graphics settings all the way up Gaming at 1080p with medium settings gives some decent results and obviously this can be improved by lowering the settings further. Would I game on this all the time? 
Definitely not, but it's nice that when I go traveling, I can go ahead and fire this up and play some casual games. Just bear in mind that temps will climb when you're stressing that CPU and it will dial back the speeds as you can see. So with temps that high, you would have to be careful if you were running things like 3D modeling or other CPU intensive apps on this laptop. So due to this being a first impressions video, I haven't really had time to test the battery out fully, but right now I'm getting around 7 hours with moderate to light usage and that includes things like watching YouTube, watching Twitch, doing a little light photo editing etc. So the battery life so far hasn't been too terrible but just bear in mind that you do have that 65 watt supercharger which will take you from 0 to 50% in just 14 minutes. So that's definitely an added bonus and another thing is if you go traveling then you can use this supercharger on your mobile phone assuming of course it has USB-C and it will charge your phone up super quick as well so it's nice to be able to travel with just that one charger. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, Huawei Share has also seen some updates. So if you're invested in the Huawei ecosystem and have a Huawei phone running EMUI 10.1 or above, then you can go ahead and take advantage of the multi-collaboration functionality. Basically, this will allow you to seamlessly transfer files to and from your laptop from your phone and pretty much use your phone on your laptop screen. Honestly, I find this feature most useful for dragging pictures from the phone to the laptop then I can go ahead and edit them in Photoshop or Lightroom etc, transfer them back onto my phone and this allows me to share them on my social media platforms pretty much seamlessly. It's definitely a killer feature and I should obviously mention that this will also work if you have an Honor phone running the latest software. So let's go ahead and round this up with some complaints as obviously it can't all be good of course. So while the MX250 is great and it allows us to do some light gaming, it would have been nice to see Huawei include the MX350 in their latest flagship. But I'm not sure whether they have done this to save battery, keep the temps lower etc. I'm not 100% sure but it would have been nice to see this included in here. And the only other complaint that I have is the fact that Huawei are still using DDR3 RAM instead of DDR4. I know some other manufacturers do this but it would have been nice to see the latest and greatest obviously on their flagship laptop. So let me know your thoughts on that down below. So what do you think about the MateBook X Pro 2020? Is this something that you would go ahead and pick up? Overall I think this is a solid laptop that not only looks good but performs well into the bargain which is obviously a massive bonus and I definitely cannot wait to get my hands on that emerald green model. I will definitely be upgrading to that as soon as I can. So if you want to go ahead and pick this up, I would maybe suggest going for the i5 model as it's priced super well and the performance will probably suit most people down to a T. So let me know your thoughts down below. Obviously all the links that you will need will be down there as well. And if you have any questions about the MateBook X Pro, anything I missed, let me know. I will always get back to you. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe, be kind to each other, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. Talk to me down the cameras.